Hello, welcome to uh, my channel Paranormal Ursa Day. This will be my second video. You guys checked out my last video uh, where I count down the best moments from one of my favorite YouTube channels, Paranormal YouTube channels, Mind Seed TV. Now, in this video, I am going to go over how to do a banishing spell. Hey, this is Paranormal Ursa Day, and welcome to my video. I will be showing you guys how to do a banishing spell. Before we get into the video, I just want to make a side note that I forgot to press record when I was uh, setting up my pentagram, my star, and in the spell, you have to use uh, sea salt to set up your star uh, for the spell, and I totally forgot to record it, so that was my bad, y'all. I will still be giving uh, instructions on how to set up the star, but you just won't see it. But that won't uh, distract you guys from the video. Uh, again, my apologies, so let's get into it. This is how to do a banishing spell from your boy, Paranormal Earth today. You yep. don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you'll always see when I drop a new video. Like, share, comment. The algorithm loves that special attention. You make it purr like a bear cub. <laughs> Magic and spirituality in general has been a part of my whole life, but I couldn't I didn't really take it seriously until maybe 12 years ago. A banishing spell is to warn off bad luck and negative energy that's affecting your life. It could be coming from a neighbor who doesn't like you and wish nothing but ill will towards you. A former friend who's wishing harm upon you. Or just anything, any situation, any scenarios that you feel like someone is putting a spell or a curse against you. I'll also include the incantation uh, in the video. Uh, what you say during the spell. But I've also included in the description and as well in the comments down below. So, let's get into it. All the items that you'll need. Sea salt to make your pentagram. Five white tea set candles and a black candle in the middle. The black candle represents protection, repelling negativity, biting, and shapeshift. First, set your pentagram using sea salt. You can start laying down the salt to form the star. You can either start at north to south or east to west. It doesn't matter. Sometimes, personally, I would start it at north to south or in some cases, I would switch it up. Add extra sea salt on each corners of the pentagram. Like a sigil, representing each corner of the star to either direction. Make sure your pentagram is neat and clean. Carefully clean up any excess salt. It is important that your pentagram is in line. Next, adding your white teacup candles. White candles represent spirituality, the goddesses, peace, your higher self, purity, virginity, as in the women's mind, owned by no man. It can also be used as a substitute for any color. Blow onto each candle before setting them down gently onto your pentagram. Like, imagine the energy you put into these candles. Like, you're making a wish. You remember those birthday candles, right? Yeah, so just like that. Visualize that energy and set your intention within each breath. I'm not going to blow on each one because this is just an example video. But when actually performing this spell, 
make sure to blow on each candle. Also, don't forget to put your candle holder for your black candle in the, min the middle of your pentagram. But don't add the black candle just yet. You'll see why. Now, pick, gently pick up your black candle. Add your all of your energy and attention to it. Imagine it banishing all of the negative energy coming your way. The black candle will stop it in its tracks. It will prevent it from basically coming your way. You can rub it with both hands like how it's shown in the video of what I'm doing right now. Or you can rub it either way. You can do it another way too, uh, where you, you have both palms, like fingers, standing up and rubbing it. Or you can do it with um, both hands going the other direction on the side. Either way, it doesn't matter. Just make sure you rub that black candle and just imagine all of your energy, all of the your intention that you want the uh, purpose that you want for that black candle to do is going into it uh, from your hands. Now, place the black candle in the middle of your pentagram. Before you light it, this is the uh, most important part of the spell. The energy you put into it. Take your hands and start at the base to create a dome. Side to side, creating a dome with your energy from your hands. Using your hands to project the energy off of you. Your hands. Do this for like a minute or two. Uh, maybe three minutes. Uh, I'm not really going to do it fully here. Because again, this video is just an example. But ideally, when performing this spell, do this for, you know, a good two minutes. Work your way up over the candles and the sea salt. You're creating this dome as intention of protection. The elements that are powering you and your energy. Personally, I contact the Archangel Angel. And my spirit guide animal, uh, which is a bear. His name is Malleus. He is my father. Loves him to death. Love you, pops. Love you, Papa Bear. If you ever watch, uh, you know, you, you guys ever watch the uh, the cartoon show on Nick Jr. back in the 90s called Little Bear? He's basically my father bear. I call upon him uh, and tapping into his energy when I do these spells and rituals. I'll be doing a video on how I met my spirit guide, my papa bear, Malleus, or actually rather how he met me. <laughs> um, I'll be doing that in a future video, uh, how I started my spiritual awakening and journey. Uh, for all of us, I'm certain there's been a ranging, uh, not ranging, uh, raging uphill battle on and off. Trust me, it has been hell. I'm still going through things and still trying to learn. You know, no one is perfect. No one's perfect, especially on this spiritual journey and this spiritual awakening. No one is really perfect. So uh, you get to hear all about all of that in a future video. It's going to be interesting. Make sure y'all look out for that. Make sure you subscribe. Subscribe, like, comment, share, you know, engage. Share it everywhere. Let everyone know about this video and subscribe and turn on that notification bell for the future videos. The incantation as follows. Banish the harmful and all the bad. Keep out the anger and the sad. Ancestors, angels, and spirit guides, guard me through my daily strides. Against all ill thoughts, hets, and curse, a protective shield shall disperse. As I do, will it, so mote it be. 
Repeat three times. After you said the incantation, start lighting your candles. As I said before, it doesn't matter which direction you start. As you light the black candle, you want to picture your dome as spanning over you and all that you want to protect, your property, your car, your work, whatever. You can also use your hands if you want. I like to mention that you can empower your spell. If you wear a charm like a pentagram or a pagan sim symbol or any kind of net necklace that you can gently or gently place in your pentagram. Wait until all the candles burn out on their own. Then you can pick it up and wear it. It will protect you from all ill thoughts and curses and it all shall disperse. If negativity is near you, or someone has an ill thought about you, this will be a shield against it from affecting you. Side note, now, if you take off your necklace, you know, you, you won't be vulnerable or anything like that. It comes within time. You'll learn how to shield yourself with your mind and spirit and block off negative thoughts or energy from affecting you. So, finally, we are at this part, right? So, you created your dome. You made that energy. The image in your head is this dome is protecting you. When you light your candles, that's your intent. Imagine it growing bigger, larger, over your head. Your apartment, your house, your car, work, Whichever you desire, how far you want this dome protecting you. Well, that's pretty much it for this spell. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. I hope this spell serves you well. Leave a like, share this video, and subscribe for more spells, spiritual stories, and paranormal videos in the future. This is your boy, Paranormal Earth Today. And I am out.